Welcome to episode number 2 of Zero to Hero, in this one we will take on a greater demon task to kill some semi boss, but first off, let's open a hard casket. Extremely mediocre. The reason why I wanted to open this hard queue is because uh, I want to do 4 Skutizo as well. So I have a total of 152 greater demons to kill, and I have these 4 dark totems, so 4 of these greater demon kills will be on Skutizo, and 4 hard clues will be gained. Death animation can be a bit buggy sometimes, but uh, first loot is some Taurus dolls and a hard clue, of course. Risking the third age I'm about to get here in the wilderness. Oh, that is disappointing. Actually pretty close to a strength level on the top. I think I'm uh, close to getting 92 and that might give me a combat level as well. So let's see what the second drop is. Anglerfish and another hard clue. Opening in the wilderness again. Can we get some luck this time? Saradome in plate body. That is worth a bit at least. Pretty good slayer experience actually from Scotizo. It's like 600 experience per kill. So not too disappointing on that front. Some room plate body is pretty good value. And of course another hard clue. Not in the wilderness this time. But uh, can this tree give me some luck? Nope. If you add the KC I had on Scotizo in the Twisted League and in the normal game, I'm halfway to the drop rate, so can we not get a pet? Feels bad, man. And the last hard clue before I can get into some juicy stuff. Oh, that is a very good clue, actually. And it's not on Twisted League, so it's actually good value. So, I have a lot of things to sell and a lot of money to get. This is the tab that I got from the Abyssal Sire, and I'm also actually going to sell all these cosmetics, because at the end of the day, they're only cosmetics and I really need some better gear. Okay, so let's have a look at this now. I sold all these things and look at the minimum price they sold for. So they came 5.6 million. Dude, I'm going to make so much money. 5 million from the boots. Okay, so let's see how much this sold for. 7.1 million. Hat. 6.2 million. And for all these things I can buy so many PVM items. Oh, almost double the amount. Holy, that was 20 million instant profit. I'm at 53 mil and the Twisted Horns... The big one, 22 mil. Okay, so I went from having like a 50 mil bank to a 125 mil bank. That is going to be so worth it for my future PVMing. So this is pretty much what I bought with most of my money. I bought a Dragon Warhammer as it's like one of the best weapons in PVMing. I bought a Karyl's uh, Leather Top as well because it's very good on Krill. And Berserker Ring of course that I have to imbue. And a DFS. Good at multiple places but most importantly for Krill which is what I want to do in this video. So looking pretty good now I would have to say. So before I get into some Krill, I have to imbue my Berserker Ring to make it pretty much double as strong as it is already. So I put a Strength Counter up here, put my Nightmare Zone on, and let's get those points. So I did gain that 92 Strength during that, 277,000 Strength Experience. So let's now go into the Reward thing here. Also I got 113 Combat by the way. And let's imbue that Berserker Ring to go from 4 in those uh, melee Strength and Crush to 8. So that's, uh, as I said, double the upgrade. So I will be killing the imps uh, for the 40 KC every single time, I'm not going to use any ecumenical keys. And this is pretty much my inventory, though I'm going to change to normal combat potions because uh, I thought, oh, divines are going to be better, but you have to drink them very frequently, so normal ones are just better. So this is why you don't necessarily want to use the divine combat potions, they deal 10 damage to you and then your stats don't actually lower during the 5 minutes it's active, so your attack for example now is 107 and it won't go down by 1 every single minute or every 30 seconds, I'm not sure how often it is, but with the divine potions it doesn't go down, but if you drink Saradomin Bruce it will still be drained and then you have to re-drink the potion again and you will take damage, so using the normal ones are just better. So this is uh, me trying to attempt a walking Krill and I'm failing miserably at it. I mean, I've killed it a few times now, I'm at like 20 KC or something and it's way easier than you think it is. And I will show you that, how to do it properly in the future clips, but this is just my first attempt. And you want to be playing melee with a piety on and use an arc light with the gear I'm using now. I'm using a Karyl's leather top to protect from the major. Praying melee to not take damage damage from the boss itself, and then I'm using a Verax skirt to have some ranged defense from the ranger. So I have pretty good defense and the DFS is also doing a lot of work on the defensive apartment, but you can see that I'm still taking a lot of damage and my prayer is going down really quickly, my prayer bonus is not very good, and I did hit a pretty good D-hammer um, D spec, the warhammer spec uh, on this uh, kill, so I actually got uh, some really nice hits in, like a 42 you could see there. That is most likely because I hit a good Warhammer spec in the beginning, because if you get a bad one, it can really be annoying to get a kill. 
So before I show you how to properly walk Krill, uh, I'm going to show you how you do not want to do it and how I thought you were supposed to do it. So you can see I hit it once and then I started walking under it. I hit it once and then I started walking under it again. And what this does is pretty much you hit it once, you walk under it and he will hit you once as well. So you hit him once and you, you, uh, well, you get hit once and you hit him once. But then if you keep doing this every single time, you will just trade one hit for one hit. But what you want to do is get two hits in for every one hit that he does. And how you do this properly is you hit him twice and then you walk under him. Like I did in just that moment, you can see. So I hit him once. And then now I hit another time and I walk under him. And if you do that, it's very, very simple, actually. You only just hit twice if you have a fast weapon like the Arc Light. And you hit twice and then you walk under him. Hit twice, walk under him. Hit twice, walk under him. That's all you do and you will only get hit once for every two hits that you do yourself. So that was my number 10 KC and every single kill that you do you get two greater demon kills because one of these minions are also a greater demon. So I will have to do about 70 kills. So this is what it looks like when you get a huge D Warhammer spec. First zero, yeah that was very unlucky. And then now I get a 73 Warhammer spec. And yeah, it doesn't reduce your defense on the or the boss's defense more than just 30%, but starting off with a 73, I mean it's happened like twice so far during about 20 kills that I have. But if it happens, you get the D Warhammer spec that high with damage and then also the 30% uh, defense reduction on the boss. And you have the arc light. Look at the HP on the boss. It's extremely fast kills sometimes. And in a trip like this, when it starts off this good, I can do three kills. But other than that, I can't uh, do more than two kills on average. No fucking way. No fucking way. I actually got a Samurai can Spear. Oh. <laughs> Holy shit, I need to swap my prayer. 32 KC Samurai and Spear. Well. Easy clap, dudes. Easy clap. That's all I have to say. Still have 84 left to kill. <laughs> it is, uh, it is worth so much this spear as well. Like, it's, uh, not that rare. It's 1 in 127, but it's almost 16 mil. It's like, yeah. It's the best job I could get. The other ones are like 5 mil. And, uh, yeah. By far the most useful one in the game as well of all the drops. Definitely getting further into this task, only 68 left and that means with 40 KC I should end at about 75 KC when I'm done with the task or 70. And I also on kill count number 40 I actually got my first rare drop table item which was uh, pretty bad, only 100 silver ores. Oh my, dude this is not real. 49 KC, second Samurakian spear. In less than 50 KC... On Krill, I've made actually 30 mil. <laughs> that is so nuts. So I'm going to end off at 74 KC and I only have one more Greater Demon to kill. So I'm going to just kill that normal Greater Demon somewhere because I don't feel like getting the 40 KC again. And I don't have enough supplies for an entire kill. So this is where I'm going to end at 74 KC. So let's uh, take a look at all the loot in the next clip and uh, my final thoughts on this. So I actually looked up how much my supplies cost for every single trip that I do at Crawl with an average of two KCs every single time I go there. Sometimes I get one kill if I'm unlucky, sometimes I get three. And even if I'm super, super lucky with the Warhammer specs, I can get four kills sometimes, but extremely rare. And I would say my average KC is about two and a half per trip. And that means that I have spent a total of, let's have a look here, 4.9 million on supplies. And uh, this is the loot that I got back. And I was really lucky. And I will actually show you guys on the side here. Um, you can see here, this is all the loot that I got, including the imps. But uh, I did not obviously pick up anything from the imps. But 700k from the imps is kind of funny actually. But most of it is from mine talismans, which are actually like almost 6k each, which surprised me. Uh, but here you can see I've killed 74 krill and 33 mil in loot in total. So from just the supplies, uh, I obviously made a lot of money just with 33 million profit. So if you deduct almost 5 mil that I used in supplies, that will still be like 28 mil profit. But 
most of it or pretty much all of it is from these Samurai Spears, which are almost 16 mil each. So two of them is 31.7 mil. And if I remove that and put, well, I have to do it again. Uh, if I remove those, the loot is only 600k. And yeah, I didn't pick up everything because um, if I would add these two, it would not be 33.2 um, mil, it's only 32.3. But if I would still pick everything up, it would still only be 1.6 mil, which would be still less than or vastly less than the supplies. So getting <laughs> kills on Krill for the money is not really worth it because if I would still get one of the other drops, which are like 4 mil and 5 mil, and then there's one that is... Uh, I think uh, 200k, which is the Steam Battle Staff, I would still just barely break even, and I'm still using also a Arc Light, which is using my Ancient Shards and all that. So, yeah, Krill is not a good boss if you want to make profit, unless, as I said, you're lucky and you get a Samurai and Spear, which I got two of. Let's see if I can actually sell these for the medium price. Let's put one in and see if it sells. It does not. And uh, I don't think it's actually going to be that much less than that. So I'm just going to put it in for like 15.5 mil. And let's see if one of them sells. It does and it's uh, pretty much, yeah, it's 15.6 mil each. So I think if I do that, well, that's a bit too much. But I'll uh, just sell this one for this amount as well. Instantly sell it. So that is 31 mil, and if I add that together with my other money in the bank, I have a 40 million cash deck. Is that close to 41 mil? No, it's... Uh, well, yeah, it is pretty close to 41 mil. So with this money, I'm probably going to buy some Bandos pieces. It still depends on what the next boss in the series is going to be about. But uh, if it is a melee one, I will definitely buy the Bandos chestplate, maybe the Bandos tassets. Uh, the tassets is worth quite a bit more than the plate bodies. We will have to see what happens. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video. It was very fun learning Samurai and it really was motivating when I saw that Samurai and Spear on the ground. And on the second one, I actually couldn't believe how lucky I was. So pretty fun video, even though the boss itself is not the most enjoyable one. So I'll see you in the next one, guys. Take care.